Welcome to Astronomy 110. I have a question for you, class. Who is Nicholas Copernicus? Yes, Sean. Musician. No. Football player. Yes. Biologist. You know, no, he is actually one of the most important astronomers of our time because all of what we know of modern astronomy is based on the theories that were formed by Nicholas Copernicus. He was born in Poland in 1473 and he was the son of a wealthy merchant. He studied mathematics and astronomy at the University of Krakow. And um, in his time, most observers believed that the Earth was the center of the universe and everything revolved around it. But he disagreed with them. And he disagreed with them because he believed that the sun is the center of the universe. And these are all planets, including Earth, that revolve around the sun. And the motion of Earth determined how we see the rest of the planet. He wrote a book called On the Revolution of Celestial Spheres and <coughs> everyone else after based their theories of planetary motion on what his book said. So everything revolves around the sun, because this is your heliocentric model. It moves from a geocentric right in the dark. This is shameful. You have no respect for all these astronomers who have brought us the knowledge they have brought us today. Why should I have respect for them? Because a lot of lives were lost for the sake of the knowledge you have of modern astronomy. For example, Tycho and Kepler. Do you know about their lives? No. Well, let me tell you. I am Tycho Brahe. I've done a lot for the astronomy subject and for the universe in scientific terms. Before the telescope was created, I made contributions by building and utilizing the most precise instruments available. I compiled huge amounts of data on Mars, and these became pivotal uh, to Kepler's three laws of orbiting Mars. Uh, I, uh, I made very important observations um, when searching for stellar parallax, and I came up with two ideas, either Earth was motionless, and at, or, and at the center of the Earth, or the stars were so far away that their parallax was too small to measure. I made careful measurements of a comet in 1577, among other big contributions. However, this all changed when Kepler came into my life, and I drank the wrong drink. Starting go. Copernicus. So many wondrous thoughts. Is it the Earth versus the Sun? Which one's at the center? It's like the time old which came first? The egg or the chicken? I love math, I love science, but astronomy, that's the wonder of the world. Tonight. I don't know. I, I think, think we're gonna see. I think we're gonna see a lot of good stars. You think we can do it tonight? I think we can make it. I just built this with all my money from my grandparents. Yeah, you got a lot of help from them, huh? Yeah, inherited a lot of money. Good funding. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be dope. Clouds are supposed to roll over. Supposed to roll over from the east. Tonight is going to be a beautiful night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've never been inside, have you? I haven't. You know, this is my first trip. This is one of my many um, observatories. This is just one of them. Yes, this is one of my many. Wow. So I want you to enter. Where the doorbell once or twice. Look at look at our notes. Mm -hmm. Good notes. Yeah. Um, I think you have a lot of really good observations here. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there's we have to go upstairs to my office, my library. Is that where the, mm -hmm. the, the telescope is? Yes. It's a refracting telescope. Refract.
Do you have enough money for that? Yeah. You know, I found a lot of really interesting things. Did you see what I noticed? Did you read that? Um, yes. Well, how long are you here talking about something? Well, wait. Wait, wait. Well, Come to my office. Well, I want to prove myself. I'm not happy right now. What happened? What the hell are you doing? Is that my notebook? Why are you hiding these things? Is that my notebook? You know, my family is sick and dying, and I you did. have all this money. I funded this entire thing. And you can't give me anything? This is my notes. Any respect? These are my notes. We're supposed to these share are my things. Notes. We're partners. These are my notes. You invited me here. I funded everything. I can't feed your family. You can I can't help. give money to your wife. They need it. They're I know dying. You're sick. I don't have all the money in the world. I have 10 observatories. I only inherited so much money. I funded this baby. What'd you see in here? What about Mars? What, what is this business about Mars? There's nothing Mars? about Mars in here. There's no evidence. There's no data. Seems Everything like I saw data. I saw data Everything right there. Everything we've done together, you know about. You have been holding You've these been back. In my You're trying to get the glory. You've been in my library. This is not about You've you. You've been in my library. <laughs> and my this office. This is about us. I built this. Look at the sign. Observing together. What's in here about Mars? That it's a planet. <laughs> Cut. Tycho. He's doing it again. Can't believe him. He's hiding evidence about Mars. He's taking money from his relatives. My family's starving, dying, because we're broke. He's hiding evidence. Now that tea goes out of the way, I've been able to further develop my ideas of my three laws to advance the scientific community greatly and will eventually make my names in the history books. First law, the law of ellipsis, states that the, pla the path of the planets about the sun is elliptical in shape, with the center of the sun being located at one foot. Number two, the law of equal areas. An imaginary line drawn from the center of the sun to the center of the planet will sweep out equal areas in equal intervals of time. And law number three, the law of harmonies. The ratio of the squares of the periods of any two planets is equal to the ratio of the cubes of their average distances from the sun.